incident reports, SCP evaluations, and experiment requests. The paperwork of the Foundation was like most, not terribly fun, but a necessary chore. They used to be much more interesting to read, but perhaps it was just him, having gone used to them. Kloss looked up at his computer screen to see a new email in his inbox. Sender unknown. He opened the email, but it was blank, besides the subject line, back rooms, and an attachment. He clicked the header. It was pretty much impossible to hide who had sent it. The Foundation had sophisticated analysis and tracking tools at their disposal. He clicked the track button. The system searched. Now, that was indeed odd. The attachment, simply labeled seekme.jpg, was too hard to pass up. He knew he shouldn't, but he had to open it now. The image before him was simple, yet intriguing. He stared at it, looking for a hidden meaning. It was only then that he realized he was suddenly quite sleepy. He tried to keep his eyes open, but to no avail. As he drifted into unconsciousness, he mumbled, The back rooms. You wouldn't believe what Kripke got himself into this time. You need to see... Chen looked up from the papers in his hand. The lab was empty. Where had Kloss gone? He walked over to his table. Everything was in place. He looked at the computer screen and saw a flashing box. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-398, The Greeting Hall. Please remember to subscribe. You! Wait! You're no mechanic. Are you part of the Germinal Organization? The what now? I'm part of the... Foundation. No matter. The legendary mechanic will teach you a lesson. The legendary what now? Too cute! Let me show you! The legendary mechanic revolves around the main character, Han Xiao. A once professional gamer who finds himself pulled into the game, Galaxy, as an NPC. But the even stranger thing is, he enters the game while it was still in beta. Ten years ago! Did I mention there's a novel and a comic? Follow him on his journey to become the legendary mechanic! Sounds interesting. Where do I find this? Why, web novel, of course! You can download it from the Apple or Android app stores. It's number one for book sales in the US with over 75 million downloads. Over 100,000 authors from all around the world, providing over 200,000 original works. Not only that, but the community has over 50,000 comments a day discussing the latest novels, authors, and juicy moments. Fantastic! Be sure to check out The Legendary Mechanic and other great books on the web novel app in my links below. Kloss slowly raised his head, his eyes blurry and still sleepy. <sighs> Where am I? He was in some type of corridor. The walls were an odd shade of yellow, and the fluorescent lights above buzzed faintly. In front of him were two plain wooden doors. Scratched into their surfaces were the words, Salvation and Salivation. What the... I am dreaming. Surely this must be a dream. He pinched his forearm. <sighs> Guess not. He looked back at the doors. Salvation, salivation. He looked back and forth between the doors. It was anyone's guess which was the way to go. Sooner I choose, the sooner this all ends. One way or another. He walked forward and opened the door labeled salvation. The light momentarily blinded him. As he moved his hand away from his eyes, he found himself inside a yellow room. It looked like an old office building, but empty. A musty smell came from the carpets. Damp. As he looked further down, it seemed like the office spaces continued infinitely on, with no end in sight. Hmm. Perhaps salivation, then? He turned back to go through the other door, but there was nothing there anymore. Just more yellow rooms trailing off into the distance. Right. Okay. He turned back and walked forwards. Let's see where this goes. He walked from room to room. It all looked the same. Every so often, he saw a gap in the walls. But when he looked through them, he just saw more endless rooms. Was it a labyrinth? Or was it far worse? Infinite. 
Just another room. He looked back the way he had come. Had he gone in the wrong direction? Mein Liebling, what a fine man you are. Klaus whipped around. A man stood before him in full Nazi SS uniform. Klaus's eyes widened as he realized who it was. <laughs> How? How? Don't be so surprised. You didn't think it would be so easy, no? You're... You're frozen. I put you in cryogenics myself. And you will have to pay for that. But not today, my son. The man walked slowly towards him. You were supposed to be with me. You were supposed to join us, not the Foundation Disappointment. But... but how? How could I... Don't mumble! Weakness! One more chance! Leave the Foundation like I did! Join us! Join the Führer! I... 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 Klaus looked down at his hands. They were shaking. Something wasn't right. He looked back up at his father. Subconscious. What did you say? Subconscious, you're not real. Of course you're not real. You're a construct of, of, of this, this place. Uh, I made my decision and I will always stand by it. I'm sorry, Dad, but you chose wrong, not me. His father smiled and slowly faded away. As quickly as he had come, he was gone. Klaus felt a wave of nausea suddenly hit him. He collapsed to the ground, unconscious. He opened his eyes. It was the same, but more decayed now. The walls had cracks in them, and some of the lights dangled and flashed from the ceiling. Had he answered wrong? It seemed like he had descended to a worse place than before. Where was Chen when you needed him, he thought to himself. Well, there's nothing for it. Onwards. He continued on through the hallways and endless rooms. It was all the same, but now dilapidated. As he turned a corner, a hit in the distance, he saw a shadow on a wall. It looked like a child. Hello? No response. He walked towards the shadow and looked around the corner. A young boy of perhaps 13 or 14 sat on the floor, looking at him. Um, hi, are you okay? How old are you? Do you know how to get out of here? Um, I'll start. Uh, my name is Klaus. I know. Um, how do you know that? Who, who are you? What's your name? You know my name. I do? I know your secret. What secret? You think I don't, but I do. You think you rescued me, saved me. But you keep my past a secret from me. Klaus looked at him in shock. J James? The boy nodded. But, but I, I, uh, how do you know? That I was a D-class? Memories are strange. One accident and you can lose them. But not always, permanently. This, this, this isn't real. Uh, th no, no, this is another trick. I, I never knew you as a child, Chen. That doesn't matter. What matters is what you did to me. No, no, no. Your voice, your your face, it, it's not you. I saved you. I took you out of the D-Class program. You keep my secrets, my memories from me. You stole my memories. Stop. You aren't Chen. Chen is my friend, and I did what I had to for him, not you. As he pointed his finger at the child, it disappeared. Klaus took a deep breath. He felt the nausea again. Here we go again. He collapsed to the floor. He opened his eyes once more. Now, the walls were black and filthy. Water pooled on the floor and a low fog drifted from the further rooms. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it sure doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't, does it? He heard the voice coming from the corridor. Who is that? Don't you recognize me? The man came around the corner. It was him. It was Klaus. Uh, a doppelganger? 
You can fool and trick the others, but you can't fool me. You can't fool yourself. Fool myself? Uh, about what? Don't play stupid. I know everything you know. I know what lies in the recesses of that mind. That impressive mind of yours. The thing you hide behind. Tell me, Kloss, what would you be without that mind? What is there besides your intellect? No personality, no character. Well, there's nothing, really. That's not true. Isn't it? You're worthless. Betrayed your best friend. Betrayed your father. You're a traitor and a liar. Don't bend the truth. That's not what happened. But it is. And once it's all done and dusted, what will be left? What will you be? Nothing but that brain. No soul. No humanity. Oh, you've done terrible things, Doctor. You can't hide them from me. No, no. I, I tried. I always tried to do right. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. Not lies, perspective. You're bending the truth. You're bending it to your truth. I can't change the past and what I've done. I've made mistakes and people have suffered. People have died because of that. I can't change that. I haven't always done things the right way, but my goals were always clear. People might have suffered, and and that's on me. But it's led me to what I am now. I'm no traitor or liar. That is on you. And you alone, doppelganger. The twin claw smiled and nodded. <laughs> oh. Salvation it is. He felt dizzy. The last thing he saw was a smile as he collapsed. Doc! Doc! Wake up! Klaus slowly opened his eyes. Chen stood before him. Chen? You alright? We couldn't find you for days. He looked around. He was in the evidence room. How did I get here? No idea, but I 100% checked this room an hour ago and you definitely weren't in it. What happened? Klaus patted Chen on the arm. Uh, <laughs> another day, old buddy. <laughs> another day. You sure you're okay? Uh, I will be. All right. Oh, on another note, seems to have been a breach of the internal servers. Oh, yeah? Yep. Seems that SCP-398, a.k.a. the Greeting Hall, found a way to reach out of its containment. Let me guess... Via email. Chen gave him a quizzical look. And just how do you know that? SCP-398 appears to all subjects as a hallway of some description. However, details differ between accounts. It is first seen as a hallway with white walls, plain wooden doors 20 meters apart and approximately 2 meters high, and brass handles with no special attributes visible. It was found on location at and upon investigation, a dimensional containment site was set up around it. The remainder of the original building surrounding it is unremarkable and has been demolished as such. 398 is contained behind a reverse airlock style containment chamber locking mechanism, consisting of at least three steel doors and an atmospheric reduction system. A minimum of two guards must be stationed at the doors, remaining at a 50 meter distance from the entrance to the SCP. The back rooms are a place beyond time and location. Perhaps an alternative dimension located somewhere deep in our collective psyche. 
an endless maze of procedurally generated offices, triggering memories of luminal space. Three levels, each one deeper and more corrupt than the last. No clipping out of reality into a parallel dimension. Survive? Be calm. Only when the back rooms have become your home can you depart. Look, we all have our skeletons in the closet. None of us are perfect. When you look back at who you once were, be kind. For you are no longer that person. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like, and share, if you would. Until next time, farewell.